everything, and I mean everything, begins in your mind. And with the right mindset, you will succeed. Whatever you decide to do in life, you can become better at it by just changing the electromagnetic frequencies and the swords or the words, swords back, words backwards, or S in front of the, 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 the W, swords, instead of saying negative things to yourself, you can say positive things to yourself. And in this video, I decided to do something a little bit different for the community. So smash the thumbs up because I'm going to do a lot more content like this for you guys as well, where I help you build your mindset. Now, I have a little bit of a story to share with you. So let me just stay here somewhere on the page. Um, if you don't mind, guys, you know, I've come a long way in life. And I know other people like Thomas Crowlow, uh, Chris from MM Crypto, um, Carl from the Moon, and a few of the other boys in space. Maybe even some of the girls in the space too. We came from nothing, okay? And we literally, I mean, Carl was a grocery store uh, teller. Uh, Chris was a um, taxi driver. Um, and, you know, Thomas Crowlow used to help do a bunch of things. And then Sheldon Sniper from Crypto Banter, he was a woodwork artist. Gray BTC, who I actually, who got me into crypto because I saw his video on YouTube, was the first person, him and Carl, really helped me get into the crypto space. And Gray BTC's story is one of the most interesting out of all of ours is because he literally came from like a land, like a garden boy to where he is today as a multimillionaire in the crypto space. And he got in at the right time because he knew what to look out for. Okay, he was doing his research and he was having fun in the crypto space. Just like I'm having fun building this crypto YouTube channel for you guys and showing you how to build wealth. Now, please, in this video, there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to share with you that you may or may not like. If you do, cool. If you don't, cool. It's your view, your opinion. I'm sharing with you a certain narrative that I have to make sure that here in the crypto space, we grow together with humility because not everybody in the world has the opportunities that we've had guys i'm recording this on an incredible laptop that's worth a few thousand i've got two laptops i've got a camera i've got cell phone you know i've got shirts i've got clothes i've got nice beautiful necklaces uh a good watch you know there's so many things a good car got a roof a home over my head so i'm extraordinary and blessedly grateful for all of this and in this video today i want to show you exactly why mindset matters so stay tuned right to the very end because you're not going to want to miss out on any of this thanks for being here so not many of you actually know my story but you know my parents got divorced when i was about nine years of age this was an incredibly interesting time of my life the divorce came surprise and unsurprised, I was unsurprised by the divorce. So, through all of the time, you know, we each have a story, no doubt, but I don't think many of you actually know my story. So, in today's video, I'm going to share a little bit of what's happened in my story. So, many, many years ago, when I was about nine years of age, I'm now 36 today, well, this year, okay, I had or well, my parents got divorced and i took on the responsibility of being the father figure in our family and that put an immense amount of pressure on a little nine-year-old you know and then i have my brother who's who was eight at the time and him and i we were we are so close okay and we walked through this journey together so much so that the woman that came in our lives growing up while we were teenagers and partying and having all those crazy fun times you know, complained a lot. They loved the, They loved our group of friends and people because we're good people. We care for people. And we love people. But sometimes to the point where people would take advantage of us. And, you know, that's okay. That happens to people. And we have to learn the hard way to build a little bit of a, a, a harder shell. Not a wall, a harder shell. To become a tougher person. And the toughness is where the mindset and the mentality comes from. 
I used to be an extremely fat or overweight kid um, at this around the same age. I think, you know, I was traumatized by the, the, um, the divorce. And I must say, only this year have I really, truly been letting go of all of that stuff. I've let go of it over the years, but you let go a little bit more as you grow on. So I basically came to a point in my life where I ended up taking over that father figure role in my family. So it was my brother, my mother, and myself that lived together. My mother hustled. She hustled two jobs, sometimes three jobs to, to pay for us. And there wasn't a day where we didn't have food on our table, roof over our head, and clothes on our back. And I witnessed personally my mother struggling to help feed us. My father, beautiful, beautiful man. He did whatever he could uh, to support us too. He was emotionally supportive in many, many ways too. And we built, you know, I had tough times with my father, but we are extremely close today. My mother and I, we're extremely close and we are an extremely close family. So much so that for the past 12 years, I've actually been running my health business, Synergy Organics, with my family, okay? As tough as that is, okay, fam running a business with family is not easy, but the resilience that I built from ignition, parents being divorced, to learning how to lose weight. My mother used to be a Herbalife uh, independent distributor. So I decided one day to use some of the products. They work pretty well. And I started to say, okay, well, actually, I love what I, I love this. I love health. And I love like the way you feel when you're when you're taking care of yourself. And this is where I'm going to get to because some of the content that I'm going to show you here is so important that you not only take care of your mind, but you take care of your physical body on the outside, which is exercise and on the inside, which is nutrition and nourishment. Okay. And so crypto is my hobby. It's my it's my hobby. I love it. It's a passion of mine as well. Um, but it's not my full time job. I love crypto to bits and pieces. But my full time work as a professional is a functional biohacking coach. And what I do to show people is actually how to get your to elevate yourself to build your life to to get yourself stronger. And it all starts with the right mindset. So I want to show you a few snippets because the first snippet I'm going to show you is from Mr. Sakguru. And basically, there's been an announcement and there is a potential. And he's even showing us that there might be another pandemic that is coming to hit us hard. And what does that actually mean for us across the world? This pandemic isn't like the last pandemic. This pandemic is very, very different. And you're going to hear why. So make sure to stay tuned. for the They have done a phenomenal amount of work and many things in the month of October. World Health Organization is predicting a pandemic, mental illness pandemic. That means just about everybody around you will be like that. Recently, the, the Surgeon General of United States said, one in two Americans are feeling lonely. One in two. What's happening to the other guy? Loneliness is the incubation period for depression. Once you feel lonely for a certain period of time, then you will go down. You need to understand, I have been talking about this for forty years now, that if you are willing, you can rewire your brain completely today. In twenty-four hours time, you can alter your epigenetic system in such a way that no matter who your father and mother were, no matter what your genetic quality is, you can be a completely different person tomorrow morning. Well, all the WhatsApp scientists have been chiding me for this. <laughs> Those WhatsApp scientists obviously are not healthy in their mind, it's very clear. But today modern science is clearly establishing this that genetics are not an absolute. Genetics are only suggestive. They don't really determine anything absolutely. They are only suggesting. It could be like this, but you can ignore the suggestion and do this if you wish. 
And what is karmic also have been interpreted by very fatalistic people that karma means that's the way your life will happen, it's destiny and it's your fate. No, karma is only a platform. Well, it takes you up to this far. Whether you dance or you bury yourself in this is up to you. Whether you sink into your karma and bury yourself into it or you firm this up and dance upon it is in your hands. Neither karma nor genetics can impede your life if you are willing to ch take charge. But for you to take charge, a little, a little support by changing the patterns of your energy, by changing the patterns of your chemistry, by changing the patterns of your psychological process, only then you have this freedom to change this. In the last five years, we have established a center called Sadhguru Center for Conscious Planet in Harvard Medical School in Beth Israel Hospital. They have done phenomenal amount of work and many things in the month of October, there is, an inter there is a, a very important conference there. Please uh, make sure that you acquaint yourself with that either being live on that day or later on you can look at the content. Some of the top scientists are participating. And till now what they found is, there is seventy percent increase in endocannabinoids and uh, also the BDNF or the brain-derived neurotopic uh, factors. This seventy percent increase in endocannabinoids is twenty-three percent more than what happens in a sexual orgasm or intense exercise. Just sitting here, you can be in such states of ecstasy and blissfulness that you don't have to run after this or that to find that. You don't have to run, off, run after bottles of alcohol or pills or men or women. Sitting here you can be blissful. Once you're blissful by your own nature, your life is in your hands. You can decide what to do, what not to do without being compulsively doing something. This is a significant shift that every human being needs right now, almost everything that you… that they do is in a compulsive basis. Either the body is driving them or thoughts are driving them, emotions are driving them or social situations are driving them. People ask you, are you driven? I keep telling them, no, I drive. So what do you think he actually means there by I drive? So. Nobody else is in control of your vehicle, your entire vehicle. You're in charge of your vehicle and you should take charge of your vehicle. So, you know, through some of the hardships life. And if we think about the markets, guys, let's just let's just maybe even look at the 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 Dixie chart. OK. The markets are never, ever, ever driven by anything else other than emotion and emotion is what plays the biggest part of the markets. So the fear and greed index, okay, guys, you know about the fear and greed index. I talk about it on the channel all the time. The fear and greed index is an indication as to where the market is right now. And if the market is in a state of fear, it means people are scared, they're depressed, they don't know what to do, they don't know what they're doing. But that is the best time to be able to get your mindset right, get your mind stronger. Because if you can maintain your mindset through bear markets, through hard times, you will become more resilient than you could ever imagine yourself to be. And I would like to go ahead and show you another video from an incredible monk that shows us how important it is to rebuild and restructure your life because you can. Just like Sakura said, it can take 24 hours. But what is the biggest, uh, the biggest contributing factor to changing your life is you have to take action and you have to learn how to speak more positively, learn how to address your life more positively, learn how to become more grateful for the smallest things in life, guys. Every night before I go to bed, I say thank you for the, thank you for my beautiful bed, thank you for my family, thank you for my friends, thank you for my business, thank you for the food I had today, thank you for all the people that made that food come alive, thank you for all the animals and the creatures that brought this food to us, thank you for, to God for all of the incredible energy that was manifested and created that we continue to bring forth heaven on earth for the greatest benefit of all. You guys need to know how to take charge of your mindset. So. 
going back to my story, the market doesn't go up in one line, okay? It goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. me personally, I've been through three times in my life, okay? And I'm coming out of the third one where I have had the most difficult experiences of my life, where I've had zero cash, uh, uh, I've had assets, but I've had zero cash. And for me, what I've learned is it is so important to be able to get that mindset strong because with a strong mindset and the confidence in your heart like a lion, you will know that you can do it no matter how many times you fail. You can do it because you have the knowledge, the skills, the know-how, and the hands, the physical tools to make do something special that you are skilled at. Once the cup is empty, now it can be filled up again. What is it that might be the key that you learn to let go of something? And this letting go is of course going to be uncomfortable. Why? Because it is something that no one normally in our school systems, you don't find the subject how to let go. You find the subject how to get more. And so that means in that moment when people are getting confronted the first time with this type of teachings, it's uncomfortable. And so someone is always confronted between here, then he's brought down. Then he gets methods how he will build himself up again. Then he gets smashed down again. And so it continues. He knew. Every time when we as humans feel something is lacking, the answer is just consume more, which means just go out and look where are you going to find something that is going to fill up that gap, to fill up that hole that you are feeling. That is the approach that we have outside. But by observing this type of behavior, I think you can see that no matter how much you consume, no matter how much of these offerings you are taking, you never become full. It's always only a question of time until your new desire starts to arise. It always just fills that small gap, that small hole for a short moment. This feeling that suddenly something has hit really deep, has packed the core. This is the essence of, of what we call the Zen teachings, the Chan teachings, where the Shaolin temple belongs into. These are the teaching methods, meaning getting out of the comfort zone is part of the process. If I realize somebody already starts to feel like very confident again, yeah, very bright, then I know, okay, it's time to shut him down again. So someone is always confronted between here, then he's brought down. Then he gets methods how he will build himself up again. Then he gets smashed down again. And so it continues. Last week you said I should do like this. So you told me to go in this direction. Today I'm asking you the same question, but you are telling me I should go in that direction. And I said, yes. Three weeks after, Shifu, now you tell me three different things. This direction, that direction, and then once again, you're telling me in this direction. teaching method is that it is for you to figure out yourself after you have wandered between the different extremes that are existing first I push you in that direction then you walk then I tell you other direction then you walk there then maybe we change again then you walk back there until you realize it's not here and it's not here it's all of that that's possible. 
discovering what type of a person you are, what type of character you are. And just to reset, reset yourself for whatever is going to come afterwards. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What did you think of that? I want to know what you guys thought about that down below. Very different video as you guys can see, but there's a reason I'm showing you this very, very different video. So um, I just want to read to you one or two mindset quotes that may be able to help you um, along your journey, guys. All right. So sometimes people, some people in some situations deserve a second chance, you know? You are that person. You need to give yourself a second chance to achieve the things that you want in life. And like the monk said, like Sakura said, life isn't constant. It has its ups and downs. And when you get too cocky, it's actually when you need to be brought back down. So bring yourself back down, create humility. And I'm going to show you something that's, uh, you know, that you may not like, but I have to show you because there is a huge discrepancy between um between the, the you know people here and people here in the world and how did these people get up here you know some not ethically but the ones that did do it ethically they had to work damn hard they had to constantly keep their mindset the same year for year over and over and over again the moment you let the sand slip through your fingers is the moment you give up on yourself and you have nothing left to hold on to and what he is saying is you need to let go of all the experiences, all the expectations, all the pasts that you have had. And whether you believe that you can or you can't, you are 100% right. Okay. So do remember to take care of your mindset and your body. Now, guys, I just want to show you these last two little snippets. I want to show you an instance of the difference between people that are actually struggling and the people that are not struggling that have it far too easy and don't know what it's like to come from the struggle into wealth into success and success doesn't just mean financial wealth success means my body is good my mind is good my feelings are in control i'm in charge of my life i'm in charge of my feelings other than god's own will for everything that we all share which is called death the complex realities of life there's so many people here in Johannesburg, South Africa, there are thousands of homeless people on the streets driving between my office and my home. Okay. This is an incredible message. Don't waste it. The food you waste is another person's meal. According to a recent statistics, every five seconds, a child dies as a result of hunger. Don't waste food. Before you complain about the taste of your food, think of someone who has nothing to eat at all. no clue how the harvesting is done. The farmers commit suicide when the harvesting is not proper. There are thousands sleeping on the roads with an empty stomach. We get the food very easily, so we waste it without realizing for a minute. Let us all make it a habit of giving the leftovers to the hunger every night before we fall asleep. Sure, that brought me to tears, guys. Um, and the reason that happens is because when I travel home from my offices, there are so many people. Today is rubbish collection day on Fridays. There are so many people out there that are literally digging in dustbins, finding food scraps to 
try and survive another day. And people like us are so fortunate, but lack the gratitude to say thank you for everything that we have every day. And I'm not saying it's all of us, because we all have hard lessons and our own lessons to learn. But the importance is, is firstly, humility for other people as well. We are living on this planet with everybody else. Don't be an ass. Don't waste food. Think about other people too. I often give to other people, especially people I can see that are starving. I don't give all the homeless people on the side of the road because there's a whole lot of stuff there that I don't feel comfortable to give them. Um, you know, a lot of them use it to go and get drugs and all kinds of things. But the ones that I can see that are really starving, those are the ones that I will take care of. I will literally take them, fetch some food for them and make sure that they can live another day. And you should be doing the same thing too. And this is why I say mindset. These children don't even, they don't even know what mindset is, okay? They were born into poverty, but it doesn't mean that they have to stay there. If they have access somehow to communities where they can get to a library, a public library, they can educate themselves and they can transform themselves and anything can happen. And, you know, my friend, great, great BTC, love you. Shout out to you, great BTC. You know, at the end of the day, he, was, he wasn't like this. I've worked with people throughout my entire life that people have been starving, that have no money to feed their families of 8, 10 people. Okay. It is a scary thought, guys. So all the money that we make in crypto, we hoard for ourselves. We buy all of these lavish things all the time. Make no mistake, I would love to experience that for a short moment in my life. But my purpose and the reason why I started my business, Synergy Organics, guys, I have to show you Synergy Organics. The reason I started my business, Synergy Organics, was to nourish every person we possibly could in this world with nutrient dense foods. Okay. This is the reason. So we are here to help people transform their lives. Okay. And the, how we can do this is by being able to support people's lives through nutrition. This is what we do. This is my business. This is what I do full time. These are the products um, as a result of my functional biohacking coaching. This is what I do, guys. This is my website. Now, in comparison from this to this, okay, this is the most spoiled little girl in the world. On TikTok, she is referred to as the billionaire's daughter and lives the most extravagant lifestyle I have ever seen. When showing off how much her outfit cost, she revealed her necklace is $4,000, her watch is $10,000, her bracelet is $15,000, and her bag is $20,000. At only 10 years old, she has built a massive following showing her buying cars, private jets, designer clothes, and even walking runways. With people in the comments saying things like, I want to be her when I grow up, and today my car got declined for buying a Red Bull. Her family flexes by saying things like, Dad said to keep under 100 million. I think we can handle that. And often show themselves buying millions of dollars in jewelry in one sitting. So if you didn't know, this is the most spoiled little girl. So to be very honest with you guys, this is not humble. Their family aren't teaching her a good thing. That's a spoiled brat. Okay, cool. She's got followers. Cool. People like her. People want to be like her. But you can be like her if you chose to be like her. But the reason the if you're coming from nothing and you want this kind of lifestyle, you have to work hard, you have to network, you have to know the right people and you have to do the work. And what does that take? It takes jumping over the hurdles of life, the challenges that life will give you to get to this point. A girl like this was born into this. She got given everything on a silver platter. That doesn't make her good. That doesn't make her incredible. That doesn't make her beautiful or wonderful or humil humility, uh, humble, okay? I mean, her video got 847,000 likes versus a video like this, um, you know, which only gets 10,000 likes. People don't want to know. People don't want to know this kind of stuff. People want to know this kind of stuff. Bling, bling. So don't get me wrong. All the boys in the crypto space that share their watches and their cars, they've come from nothing. In Andrew Tate came from nothing, okay? to create something out of their lives. If you did that, show it off wherever you want. But there are people out there that don't want to show it off, that want to actually help more people like this become better, okay? To grow their life, to grow their mindsets. And if you want to know more, I'm a functional biohacking coach. It's my full-time work. It's my full-time life, my full-time passion. Be in touch with me. 
let me know. I will help you transform your life. Get your mindset right. Get your finances right. Get your body right. Get your, um, uh, your workouts, your food, the clothes you wear. Things like this matter. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was very different to the videos that I normally do, but I had to put out a mindset content video for you guys because as you can see, the disparity in the world is so distant and it's just getting bigger. The gap is getting bigger. So let's come together as one united nation across this world. Forget all the geopolitical drama. Let's come together, unite as one. We're not separate people. We're living on this earth together. Let's treat this earth with respect. Let's treat the people of this earth with respect and let's get our own mindsets right. And that will be the start of your beautiful life ahead of you. Thanks for being here with me. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Both of them is okay. I don't mind. Love you all. And we'll see you on the next one. Blessed soul.